Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Are you still on Amazon and the spy and the queues? I am. I have still have my Amazon and I have one spy and one of the queues. That's good enough. It's better than nothing. It certainly is. But can you imagine if you had held everything? It would be really good. But I mean, well, I you know, honestly, this is good practice for you because you're trying to build yourself up here, so but I mean like there's certain trades again, not every gap is created equal. So there's certain trades you can hold, certain trades you can't hold. But I mean, you know, again, it's you can't hold every trade, but I mean, it was very clear to me that this was going to happen. So, you know. Yes, but that's that's the mentality that I have been used to is just holding, isn't it? No, but that doesn't work for every trade. It doesn't work for every trade. And you still have to watch what's happening. Like if there was anything that was bad happening, I might have said differently, but it wasn't. So it's like you, I mean, you have to still watch every trade. The problem is you've gone off the rails as far as how you read charts. You're not focusing on the stuff I taught you alone. You're, you're allowing these other little teeny weeny things to get in your head a little bit. And then it kind of has created a problem for you. Exiting trades or getting out too early or getting out when you're down and then they go. But you know, you did a good job with this. You're going to be up. I would let this run today and then get out. That's what that's my plan of action for you. I'd let everything run today and get out of everything positive today. Because I mean, even if this continues this week, which it could, I think this is a great exit today. It's Wednesday. You know what I mean? Yes. Are you looking at exiting first thing or? No, this is a look at going back yes, to the basics. I... Rate the gap. Get As soon as you hang up with me, you got an hour and a half to the open. Rate these gaps rate them the, this gap in the market today you could go long as a day trade i'm telling you right now well i mean i don't have to rate it i mean you can see it's you do have to again. rate it you should rate it that helps you it, even even though you've done it a thousand times you still should do it every day i still do it every day philip every day i go through the process you need to but do that but surely this is just another continuation of the no, previous this is, I mean, this is a new gap yeah. today. You can go long this gap today. I might even make a new trade here. I don't know. I have to look at what I think would be even be the cost of this now and what I would do with it as far as Friday or next Friday. I, I, I mean, I just I just opened this up and I'm like, holy cow. I mean, yes. what a nice call. Yes, it is. Fantastic call. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be at least seven points through this strike into the open, maybe more by the time it opens, so... This could be a two. Right. This could be a two ninety by in an hour. It's got an hour and a half. This could be a two ninety by the time it opens. Right. So you would let this play out the whole day, then come back at that quarter four and close it. Whatever you have time to do. In other words, if you don't have time to focus on this hundred percent today, then get out into the open and call it a day. If you got to walk away, you have to do something. This that whatever. If you have time to focus today, then watch it trade out. And if you trust yourself to make the right decision about it, then 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 um then you know then stay with the trade and see if the gap runs up all day i believe that this gap today will be bought but i can't tell you what time without watching it could be 9 45 could be 10. It, sh it needs to be early but i'm just saying like yesterday that gap held yesterday and it yes, was red it for a good period in the morning so if you are not going to sit here and watch this then get out into the open. If you feel like you trust yourself to read it right on your own and can have the time, then let it play out because I believe this gap today gets bought. Right. And the same with Lulu. Would you would you shut Lulu or would you say that's Lulu. maybe got a potential in it? I mean, obviously, we've only got, well, three days. Lulu, I th I had gone over this before, and I said this to the other people. If you're in, if you're in Lulu now, you may, well, wait, you may as well just write it out. You're down in it here. So I mean, you may as well just, you may as well just ride this puppy out. I don't think you're going to save much with this at this point, anyways. Ride it out. See what happens here in the next week. Right. Right. Okay. And don't worry about point. this. Like then whatever with this now. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. How it moves today. If it looks positive, then if this happens, follow it, do, take do it. it then great if it doesn't write it off you know right okay so an amazon you would you would you would 
Look at that, as you would the spy in the queues then. No, this isn't the same thing. So maybe you want to get out of Amazon. But this, this is probably good. If the market goes, this will go too. So if you want to stay safe, then maybe get out of Amazon into the open and then, then ride out the market. But you could ride out everything because if the, everything goes, then everything's going to go. Yes, I and think I will. And you didn't do will... Google. And you should have done this too. And you didn't do this one What's either. That? You didn't do this. You didn't do this one either. You would have been up another couple hundred dollars just in this. Okay. Yes, yes, but at the same time, you have to be careful, haven't you? You can't just throw everything on the table. No, you've gone from one, you've gone from not being careful at all, now to being totally as careful as you can barely move. So it's like you got to find a way back to normal, and that's what I'm trying to help you do. You know, it, just find a way back to the midway point, but you really should that's be doing all the trades that I call. Huh? My risky self, you mean? Yes, one minute you're like taking all the risk in the world, taking all this risk and holding everything to the dream target, and then now, then, then a couple weeks ago, you're like, oh my god, I'm happy if I get out for even. Yes. <laughs> now, now you're like, yes, now you're. Yes, you know what the problem is. The problem is when you have several that are obviously working for you, and when you have several that don't, you, you, it reflects in the way you. Look when at was the last trade. time that I even called three trades in a row that all were losers? Not at all this year, I can tell you that for sure. I mean, I'm well, just like... I, I, I don't remember them anymore. I pushed them out of my mind, Melissa. Well, I wasn't so. this year in 2019. I mean, if Lulu fails for you, fine. Some people lost in the Apple too. But I mean, I've called a million good trades this year. And in fact, I'm going to figure out the win ratio. I haven't had time to sit down and really figure out what the percentages is, but it's on my list of things to do. Look at this. Right. This is going to open. This is going to this is going to get bought up into the open. I got to get going. I have, a I have so much to do today. But listen, yes. I just wanted to talk to you. Great job on this. You've got enough to make it count. So watch these puppies here today. And if you want to get out of Amazon, maybe into the open and then hold the others, whatever you want to do. I think so. All have right. a good day, Melissa. Great job, Thank Philip. You. I want to hear some good emails from you today. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye.